Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey everyone, we've all heard the advice, don't forget your sunscreen. But have you ever wondered exactly what's happening when you apply that creamy layer to your skin? How does it actually protect us from the sun? Today, we're diving into the science behind sunscreen and how it keeps your skin safe from sunburns, premature aging, and more serious skin issues. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll never look at that bottle of SPF the same way again. Before we get into sunscreen itself, let's talk about why we need protection in the first place. The sun is a powerful source of energy, and while we all need a little sunshine to produce vitamin D and lift our moods, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The sun emits something called ultraviolet, UV radiation. There are two main types of UV radiation that reach our skin, UVA and UVB. UVA rays are the ones that penetrate deep into the skin. These are mostly responsible for long-term damage like premature aging and wrinkles because they go far beyond the surface. Think of UVA rays as sneaky culprits that you might not notice until it's too late. UVB rays, on the other hand, are the main cause of sunburn. They affect the outer layers of the skin and are a key factor in developing skin cancer over time. You'll know these rays are at work when your skin turns that lovely shade of lobster red after too much sun. Now you might be thinking, okay, but why does my skin react like that? What's actually happening? When your skin absorbs too much UV radiation, it damages the DNA in your skin cells. That's why sunburn hurts. Your body is essentially trying to repair the damage. Over time, if this DNA damage accumulates, it can lead to more serious conditions like skin cancer. So, protecting your skin from these rays is pretty crucial. Now that we've covered why we need protection, let's break down how sunscreen works its magic. Sunscreen is like a shield for your skin, but not all sunscreens work the same way. There are two main types, physical or mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens act like a literal shield. They sit on top of your skin and reflect UV rays away from the surface. These sunscreens usually contain ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, which are mineral-based and provide broad-spectrum protection, meaning they guard against both UVA and UVB rays. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, work a little differently. Instead of reflecting UV rays, they absorb them. These sunscreens contain organic, carbon-based compounds like avobenzone, oxybenzone, or octocrylene. Once the rays hit your skin, these compounds absorb the UV radiation, convert it into heat, and then release it from your skin. It's almost like a mini-science experiment happening on your body. No matter which type of sunscreen you choose, both provide a barrier that protects your skin from harmful UV rays. The key is applying it correctly and making sure you have enough on, because those sneaky UV rays are always trying to find a way in. Let's move on to something you've definitely seen on every bottle of sunscreen, SPF. So what exactly does SPF stand for? It's short for sun protection factor. It's a measure of how well a sunscreen can protect your skin from UVB rays, the ones responsible for sunburn. Here's a simple way to think about it. If your skin would normally start to burn after 10 minutes in the sun without any protection, an SPF 30 sunscreen would, in theory, allow you to stay in the sun 30 times longer, so about 300 minutes before burning. But there's a catch. SPF isn't a perfect measure because it doesn't account for factors like sweating, swimming, or how much sunscreen you actually applied. Most people don't apply as much as they need, which means they're not getting the full protection. So, what's the difference between SPF 15, 30, and 50? Basically, the higher the number, the more protection you get, up to a point. SPF 15 blocks about 93% of UVB rays, SPF 30 blocks around 97%,
and SPF 50 blocks about 98%. You don't need to go too crazy with the numbers, and SPF 30 or 50 will do the job for most people, as long as you apply it correctly and reapply it regularly, especially if you're sweating or swimming. You might have also noticed the term broad spectrum on sunscreen bottles. This is really important because it means the sunscreen protects against both UVA and UVB rays. Remember, UVB rays cause sunburn, but UVA rays can lead to premature aging and skin cancer. So a broad spectrum sunscreen gives you a more complete protection package. If your sunscreen doesn't say broad spectrum, it's only protecting you from UVB rays, which leaves your skin vulnerable to other damage. Why reapplication is key. Here's the thing about sunscreen. It's not a one and done situation. Even if you slather it on in the morning, it doesn't last all day. Sunscreen wears off due to sweat, water, and just general skin activity. That's why reapplication is key. Most experts recommend reapplying every two hours, especially if you're outdoors and exposed to direct sunlight. If you're swimming or sweating a lot, you'll need to reapply more often. Even if your sunscreen says water resistant, it's not invincible. Water resistant means the sunscreen will last for a certain amount of time in the water, usually 40 or 80 minutes, before it needs to be reapplied. So make sure you keep that in mind during beach or pool days. So there you have it. Sunscreen is more than just a summer essential. It's an everyday skincare superhero. By understanding how it works and using it properly, you can protect your skin from harmful UV rays and reduce the risk of sunburn, premature aging, and even skin cancer. It's not just about preventing that uncomfortable burn after a day at the beach. Sunscreen plays a much bigger role in your long-term skin health. It's also important to remember that sunscreen is not just for beach days or when you're out hiking in the mountains. It should be a daily part of your routine whether it's sunny or cloudy, summer or winter. Even on those days when you think the sun isn't shining as brightly, those UV rays are still out there doing their thing. By making sunscreen a regular part of your morning routine, just like brushing your teeth or washing your face, you're giving your skin the care and protection it deserves every single day. Stay safe in the sun and thanks for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.